Okay, head coach Trisha Brown, freshman Kayla Raymond, and uh, Isabella Santoro. Coach, you just want to open with a general comment about the game? Sure. Um, obviously disappointed that our season comes to a close, but you got to give St. Anselm so much credit. They're playing some great basketball, and I think that defensively they did a great job. We, we struggled to execute. We struggled to, to make shots. On the defensive end, I liked our... I liked our intensity. I liked our game plan. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whew. That's because I'm out of breath because the stairs. I'm really not that emotional. <laughs> you can leave that in. Um, I did. I thought defensively we did a nice job, but we just struggled to score. Um, but they deserve the credit. They've had two back-to-back -back great wins. So congrats to them. And disappointed that the season's over. But clearly with the people on my right and left, you know, we're excited about the future. Uh, Kayla, any difference in what you kind of saw in the second half? Obviously, at 14 and at halftime, and really kind of carrying the offense. Did they switch anything up for you in the second half? Yeah, they kind of made um, a few defensive changes and taking away my shot on the outside perimeter. So, I mean, I, a lot of my other teammates picked it up and started scoring instead. So, it was helpful. Uh, you, if we guys fell out behind that in the third quarter, and you kind of sparked that comeback after, you know, they. You know, let's go those four quick points, and then you guys are on that you know run to grab the lead back. You were kind of behind that. Just you know, what were you able to kind of do to spark the the run there in the, in the third quarter? Uh, as soon as coach put me in, I just kind of grabbed the other four my teammates, and I just said, I mean, they just went on a run, and I was like, it's our turn to go on a run. Um, play good defense, box out, and get the rebounds. You had two strong games here, ten points last night and thirteen tonight. Just you know. How were you able to kind of finish the season strong and obviously show, you know, along with Kayla and the other freshmen you guys had that, you know, this is not the last time you're going to be back here? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, a lot of the freshmen, we just wanted to, like, make a statement for next year. And definitely just playing for our two seniors who had a heck of a game, a heck of a career, and just leaving it all out on the court for them. Uh, Kayla, how do you guys, the two of you and the other freshmen back there, sophomores and juniors, two seniors obviously graduating, but... How do you guys now have been through this to use this as motivation for, you know, your next three three years? Mm -hmm. I definitely think of this was a great experience, and you know, we like walked through the door a little bit, and we got our hands wet in the water, so we're ready for next year. And I think this was really needed, and we really found out like how much of a great team that we are, and like what we could be as well. So it'll be great for next year, and we'll be even better. Obviously not the moment you want to talk about this, but obviously with these guys and, you know, so much, not to use the cliche, this, this is kind of gravy for this group. And yeah. how do you guys now turn the page and really build on this over the yeah, next no, three No, happy to talk years. about this potential as we move forward. Um, you know, as we have talked about this year, that we, we knew that we had the potential to be a strong team, given the, the strength of the youth of our team and these guys coming in us first year um, players, we knew their potential, but there's always the gray about how are they going to develop, will they, you know, how will they get up to speed um, with the college game, and I think that's what we were most impressed with, just the consistency of their work ethic and really working hard to, to understand the college game and how things were different, and, you know, I think both of these guys especially really kept getting better every day. They, they really have a great intensity and focus about work. And they come to work in the practice setting, and I think that's what you see today. You know, the, the fact that these two freshmen on a big stage have an ability to really do some damage, and, and at both ends. You know, Bella's been a great rebounder all season, but I think that really showed in the last two games, you know. And again, in, in a pressure situation. So, you know, I've, I've just been so impressed with their poise. So. Being able to get to the NCAA tournament with this team was really important, like Kayla said, in terms of, you know, where we can go. It, it's great that they got this experience. They, in a very intense situation, you have to prepare for back-to-back -back games. You have to understand possession by possession and what you need to bring each possession, you know. And I, I just, you could see early that we ran out of a little bit of gas offensively, you know, and, and as much as we were trying to get Kayla, good touches. Again, I think St. A's did a great job. But, you know, once you get here and you understand, you know, it, it, it's a different experience. You know, hopefully we can work hard to get back here, and, and I like our chances given 
you know, what our youth has brought to this season. Talk about the growth sheets that Bellows had this year. I mean, started out in, I don't know, in the starting five and, you know, had to kind of grow a little bit and obviously finished strong here with this weekend with, you know, two big games for you guys. Talk about her growth through the year. Yeah, and, and honestly, I think the most impressive part about Bella has been her maturity because she, she is such a naturally gifted player and she came out of the gate strong in our practice setting and obviously we were trying to find, you know, replace a lot of people and find roles and who was going to fit into one and, and Bella did start a few games early um, and that had to change given, you know, just the point guard position and and her maturity to handle that and not, you know, stop working hard and saying, oh, you know, she doesn't respect my game. She had the maturity enough to have a great discussion. And we talked about what she needed to fix and work on, and she did. And every day she works hard in practice. And, you know, to, to have such a great weekend at the NCAA tournament is really just about her work ethic. Yeah, so very exciting.